All right, super simple project this weekend. Got a downspout here, drainage pipe. Got a crack in the drainage pipe, so I gotta repair that because I don't want water seeping up through and against the foundation. That's actually what happened this winter. Had to uh, do a quick repair here that uh, drained out to the to the uh, to the yard. So we're gonna repair it. Show you the processor, the steps, and got all the stuff from the hardware store. So we should be good to go. Well, one thing to keep in mind is if you have. Uh, what it looks like telephone line going through your uh, downspouts here. Uh, don't cut that, that's really important. Uh, that's actually keeping water from freezing inside your downspout. Uh, so definitely don't cut those, uh, that, that would not be good. During the winter time, you know, it doesn't drain quite as well, especially after uh, a hard uh, thaw from the, from the snow on top of the roof. Uh, so if it drains a lot, it's actually pooling uh, up against the house. And that's actually what happened in this winter time. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, fix this problem so I don't have it in the, in the future. One thing to keep in mind as, as you're digging stuff up along the house, uh, keep, in, uh, keep an eye out for these uh, sprinkler heads because you don't want another project. You hit that uh, sprinkler line, you're gonna have another project, you gotta repair a sprinkler system. So you definitely don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the existing coupling here this just attaches to the downspout and then attaches to the other uh, pipe. I've got four inch snap adapter. You can see it there. I picked this up at Lowe's. They actually did not have it at Home Depot. It's not focusing on me for me. Uh, but I, I picked this up because what happens is, is we'll cut this, we'll attach uh, the hose to this side so the hose is going in this and then it's got a nice smooth flow so we don't have any uh, uh, obstructions for water. All right, so we've got this pulled back. All we're gonna do is take a, a knife here and we're just gonna cut it back a little ways, far enough back to where we're not right here because we've got a very short section and I've gotta fit uh, another piece and the four inch snap connector. So we'll cut it back to about here and we'll get this thing repaired. All right, got my pipe cut here. I've got my four inch snap connector. It's gonna be real easy. I measured my, uh, my length, should be relatively simple. This just slides in. All right, so we've got my tube attached here with the four inch snap adapter. I've got three screws in here to hold it nice and tight. Had to dig a little bit out to give myself a little more flexibility. But now we'll be able to add the, uh, the coupler here to the downspout and get this going. We'll take a couple uh, ridges off just to make the flow a little bit better but uh, we'll get that cut get it attached and then I'll show you the attachment here all right we'll get this attached here all right snake this onto here all right we'll just bury it Project's done, pretty much. All right, so there you have it. Easy project for the weekend. Didn't take too long. Five, 10 bucks in materials, no problems. This is all repaired, so hopefully we won't have any more pooling up against the house, or against the foundation. Really simple, some screws, a couple cuts. That's about it. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button or the like button at the bottom of the video, appreciate it.